Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own domain name for API Gateway REST API and HTTP API. Now, if you've created an API using API Gateway before, then you know it's going to be very, very difficult to memorize the invoke URL address. And by attach your own domain name, for one, it's going to um, make your API less more professional. And for two, it's going to be a lot easier to memorize the URL. So let me just give an example before we dive into the tutorial. So let me grab this video ID first. So I have this uh, API that will basically return the transcript of a YouTube video. In the uh, URL, I can simply paste the video ID and enter. And that will return the transcript. And here my URL is actually attaching to my own hosting domain. All right, so the first step is you want to open two tabs. One is going to be uh, in your cloud service provider hosting uh, console. And I want to make sure that you go into the manage domains page. And most of the hosting providers should have uh, very similar functionalities when it comes to uh, modifying the DNS. I'm using Cloudflare, but like I said before, for well, um, most of the hosting websites, the settings should be relatively similar. I want to navigate to the page where you can add a DNS record. On AWS, I'm going to log into API Gateway. Here, I'm going to create a new tab. I'm going to navigate to Certificate Manager. So the first step is we're going to verify that we are the owner of the domain. On the left-hand side, we have different options. You can look at the certificates that have verified by AWS. If you want to create a new certificate authorized by Amazon or issued by Amazon, you want to go to Request Certificate. And for the certificate type, choose Public Certificate and Next. And for the qualified domain name, this is going to be the subdomain name that you want to assign to the uh, API route. So for example, my domain name is uh, this uh, freecloudexam.com. And I want the API route to be api.freecloudexam.com. And for the validation method, choose DNS validation. Then I'm going to leave everything as default. Then I'm going to request the uh, certificate. Here, click on view certificate, or you can refresh the page. And that should show the uh, certificate that's waiting to be validated. Now, click on the certificate. In the domain section, we have this uh, CNAME record. I want to attach the uh, record to our domain hosting. So go into your domain hosting and add a new DNS record. Now make sure that the type is set to CNAME. And copy CNAME to the name field and value to the target field. For Cloudflare, the proxy is already enabled. I need to uh, turn this off. Then I'm going to add the record or the certificate to get verified in AWS. Now, this may take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to um, pause the video until the certificate is validated. All right, so my certificate is validated by AWS, and here you can see that from the status column, it now shows success. And once we verify that we are the domain owner in AWS, now we need to link the domain function to the uh, subdomain that we just created. In API Gateway Console, click on Custom Domain Names. Now, if you want to create a new domain, and for the domain name, make sure that, here me uh, go back to Certificate. Make sure that you create the domain name the same as the domain name that you assigned to the certificate. Now, based on your use case, for some companies, they may use edge optimized uh, endpoint type, which is basically uh, distribute your contents across the globe. 
but most likely you are going to choose regional. For the ACM certificate, make sure that you choose the certificate that is linked to your domain. Then click on create domain name. Now if we look at the end configuration, now under end configuration, uh, this section here. So right here is the routes that we need to assign in our cloud hosting provider. Now I'm going to add a new, a new DNS record. And again, the type is going to be CNAME. And the name field is going to be the subdomain route, not the full name. So it's going to be API. And target will be this uh, API gateway domain name. And we need to disable proxy and create the DNS record. And one more thing. So I'll make sure that, here, let me go into the setting. Now for some of the hosting providers, they may set the SSL and TLS encryption to uh, flexible or off. And I want to make sure that you set the encryption mode to four. Now going back to API gateway, now we need to create a mapping. Now click on configure API mappings, add new mapping. And from this point, you just need to choose the API function that you want to uh, link. And I want to create a mapping to my YouTube transcript summarizer function. Then choose the stage. If your function has an optional path, then you can assign the path here. Now I'm going to click on save. Now at this point, I'm officially uh, finished with the linkage. Now if I go into my APIs, if I look at this uh, YouTube summarize API. From this API, I only have this uh, get method and this the uh, endpoint route. Now open a new tab and for testing, simply type the subdomain that you created and followed by the route summarize. Now I'm going to grab a new video from YouTube. Let's try this one. And I'll copy the video ID. So this is going to be uh, my uh, API function. And for yours, it might be different. But here I'm going to press enter to verify that. Okay, uh, the connection was reset. Summarize. Accept and continue. Okay. I think it may take a couple of minutes uh, for the API gateway function to uh, fully uh, link to the uh, domain hosting provider. Now this time I'm able to uh, make the request code using my own hosting domain successfully. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this tutorial and hopefully you guys find this video useful. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.